talk to 16 WAPT's Ross Adams about why he did it. What did he say, Ross? We know, Megan, this is really all about neighbors helping their neighbors. He said he saw a problem and he put his skills to work to solve it. A Jackson welder is using his blowtorch to make his neighborhood safer. I just did it because I felt that I should. Benjamin Johnson said he spotted the problem across the street from his Raymond Road home. It's a missing metal cover over water and sewer lines, which left a dangerous hole. We have a lot of kids running around, so we're trying to make sure that everybody's safe. Imagine your child will walk down there, and, uh, and you, see, you see how deep it is? Johnson posted on Facebook how he planned to fix the problem. You got people who work for the city who can do that. Yeah, it was like it, it was like JFK said back. He was saying it ain't it ain't what they can do for me is what I can do for them. So it's all about help, helping your community. So once Johnson was done, he attached a handle to the heavy sheet of metal. He also attached a chain to prevent somebody from ripping it off. He told us this is the third time he's done something like this in the last month. You didn't reach out to the city officials before you decided to do this? No, no I didn't. You think you should have? Well, yeah, um, some things couldn't wait because the manhole on Raymond Road, it was open for three years. And uh, sometimes you call and you get the hotline, guess what? They said, well, uh, we're going to take it to public work. Public work never shows up. Johnson's neighbors are applauding his good deed. I think it's great. I mean, yeah, because kids can't get hurt. Anybody could, you know, people walking up down the street all the time. It needs to be more others like that. If it wasn't me committed to my job seven days a week, I'd be out here doing something too. I love Jackson. So, so if, if, first thing, we got we to gotta help, help in our own areas. Now, we have reached out to the city to get their comment on what Mr. Johnson is doing and whether this is a good, good idea for citizens to be taking matters into their own hands like this. We haven't yet heard back from folks at City Hall or Public Works. Live in the newsroom, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News. Interested to hear the city's response to his work. Ross, thank you.